I trip through life, I gotta be dreaming I made masterpieces out of my semen And my bitch too nice Not to mention the verbal skill set I'm just too nice, I don't trust it I mean I love it, but it gotta be something It's the guy Gioli, reppin' And I'ma tell you why I'm so ill, right? I don't even have nothing planned to talk about You know what I mean? I'ma go through and I'ma talk about stuff in real time um, whatever I see, I'm going to speak on because, you know, the culture is happening. So, you know, as you're scrolling through social media, YouTube, you know what I mean? Where else you getting your cultural um, tidbits and topics from? You know what I mean? So I might just do it in real time. And um, it is my physical born day. You know what I mean? And it is the first episode of Holy's Corner as a podcast. So you can catch this audio, you know what I mean, alone. Uh, on, you know, all streaming, you know how that go. Um, look, man, biggest thing, of course, is, um, academics on the breakfast club. <laughs> I'm gonna keep everything short and sweet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be really, um, concise and, uh, whatever that other new word is that I learned. Um, um, academics on the breakfast club. He said everything that I said he would say, you know what I mean? Because I'm a genuine, you know, act fan you know what i mean i get his perspective where he coming from so i already knew he didn't mean no disrespect to the ogs when he was saying what he said you know what i mean it just was a you know he he said it himself one third of his content is you know money and not just money but like entertainment education you know what i mean education in the entertainment space as it pertains to finances and and what actually goes on so you know a dude like act is constantly pulling the curtain down and um people don't like that curtain to be down man that curtain got to stay up for the you know illusion of you know when you think of a, a, a again uh excuse me let me not use that word we are monetized when you think of somebody that is let me see let me time stamp this 150 all right cool when you talk about you know a dude who is not a like 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 a magician got to keep you in the dark for the the magic trick to stay magic. You get what I'm saying? Because if you could look inside that box when you, when you think they're cutting somebody in half and you could see like, oh, they didn't cut this person in half. They just, you know what I mean? Like, you know, they didn't. But this is the thing about magic. Even if you don't know how it works, if you don't see it, it still work on your mind until you really see how it works. So academics been pulling the curtain back on hip hop and the trickery for so long. You know what I'm saying? I could name stuff. You know what I mean? Exposing people for the bundles. You know what I mean? Keeping up with the numbers and the deals and what's really happening. You know, him and Russ is a big, 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 big part of the reason why I move forward the way I move forward. Because, you know, in the Nipsey hustles of the world, stuff like that. Because I'm listening to these dudes. They got real stories. You know what I mean? They, they. They really know what's going on. And then when they tell me, I'm like, okay, this this is from the inside looking out. So I got to listen to them. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody being in a house. And, and the house, I'm assuming what's going on in the house, but they in the house. They talking to me from out the window. Yo, what's going on in here? How I'm ignore that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how people see academics and ignore his content when he's getting his information from the people who are going through the stuff. You get what I'm saying? So... He's helped me a lot as far as um, just knowing the business, you know what I mean? Really from today's business, from the inside, you know what I mean? So um, salute the act. Like I said, he made all the points I thought he would make. He said the same thing about L Cool J that I said about L Cool J, which is he wasn't necessarily responding to academics. People take people took academics and made him the face of a generation and not even necessarily the generation that they talking about because the generation they talking about is probably a little bit newer than academics i'm gonna be honest with you but they they, they kind of like you know overlap you know what i mean so you know they been wanted to say this the soldier boy they been wanted to say this the little yachty they been wanted to say this the little uzi but they get to say it the academics because he's the you know the biggest clown in the room you know what i mean the easiest target then they get to take all the hip hop frustrations out on, you know, one single person who is a representation of something, not necessarily that they, you know, mad at him. So I'm glad he played it the way he played it. You know what I'm saying? And apologize to Toya and 
all this other stuff, but still made real points. Hey, we if we can't say the B word, we can't say the B word. You know what I mean? What's going on with that? So yeah, like I said, just to also, recap, um, you know, it's it's a lot of people who I see in the comments they change their perspective on act after that interview. I didn't have to change my perspective because I'm a realist and I heard what he said, and you know, I always know that from journalists who are have any type of integrity i don't gotta worry about their views coming strictly from a place of malice even if it is it's not gonna come you know with no objection and, and like no education behind it you get what i'm saying no real point so you know i just salute that um man let's go let's go let's go through let's see let's see um shout out to the crew has it podcast like you know that's the the uh michael rainey jr and uh Gianni, whatever his name is, from Power, they do a joint where they interview all the Power uh, guests, you know what I mean, the Power actors as guests, so that's dope. Um, I see Aerie Spears, you know, and Joe Budden had like some type of heated conversation, like I didn't click on it yet, but I think it's really unnecessary, and I think it's, the, the funny part is Joe is, you know, talking about act. You know, kind of clout chasing by putting out a clip of PNB Rock that was really necessary and relevant to the conversation around his untimely passing. You know what I'm saying? Long live PNB Rock. But like, he'll go back and forth with Ari Spears, who is just like an easy target for the media. And then just, you know, like, it's kind of weird that you're putting out clips that's like, this is a clout chasey clip. There's really no other way to put it. You know what I'm saying? You know, the heat is on airy like that. Like, you ain't even have to publicize, you know, that y'all had an exchange. You know what I mean? Like, it's just it's just unnecessary. And I haven't listened to it, but I know when somebody's putting something out for the clicks. And Aerie Spears is hot right now. You know what I mean? So it's just weird when people say stuff and I see them doing similar things to the stuff that they, like, you know, talking about. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Uh, also, I never want to talk about academics again. Like, I just feel like everybody has talked about him way too much. Rolling Loud performances. I saw a bunch of Rolling Loud performances. I want to shout out the people who kill Rolling Loud that I saw. I didn't see everybody. You know what I'm saying? Um, Dej Love Joint was like interesting you know what i mean i don't think she killed it but it was interesting she had like a bunch of fans on stage the whole time um most of the time uh she brought out mr chicken glorilla bodied it you know what i mean that energy is infectious i would say glorilla got it kind of toned down the to, um, i think she should just rap on stage i don't think we should be dancing as much trying to get tiktok moments and like i noticed with glorilla every time she dropped now it's like she's trying to have like a tiktok thing going let's not do that man that whole wave is over that that whole i'm about to drop a dance with my song wave is over like let it happen don't don't force it um west side gun west side gun he had west side gun had wrestlers on stage wrestling while he was performing it was epic um conway was cool benny was cool conway really did his thing benny was the least you know my least favorite but he still he still did his thing um conway had a real real dope set and west side just he's too much west side is just he's so cool but he's so performative and and just aware of the entertainment factor you know what i'm saying like, he plays so cool, you don't know he being entertaining, like Snoop Dogg. You know what I mean? Snoop Dogg's so cool, but he still know how to, you know what I mean? Keep your, your attention and grab you. Um, Battle rap, man, real fast, real fast. I don't know if y'all keep up with battle rap. I didn't see none of the battles, but I was disappointed to hear JC talk about, you know, after the battle with Sue Surf, um, he, his words wasn't like I killed him. So it, it kind of put me on edge a little bit, kind of. You know what I mean? Damn, my man might have lost. You know what I mean? I had JC 2-1 against Sue Surf. Maybe I was bugging. You know what I mean? We see when it dropped. Um, hopefully it ain't dropped yet because I'm a little crazy. Uh, let's go through. Also, also, see, that's what I'm saying. Look at the two clips from the Joe Button podcast this week that they did. And I'm going to check them out. And I, I love Joe. But look at the clips. Like, Joe's always talking about people. This is what I'm saying. 
the clips from the show will tell you what you feel like is the most click worthy. And it's LL rips. Li listen to this. L Cool J rips DJ Academics for calling old rappers dusty. This is what I'm saying. Some of this behavior um, would, would seem a little clout chasey from... I know it's relevant. I'm not trying to like body Joe Button. But I'm saying if somebody wanted to say, yo, Aerie Spears and L Cool J is like the lowest hanging fruit from this week's news cycle. Um you 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 kind of putting up the same content as everybody else. You know what I mean? You you're being a little I could see how somebody could say that. You know what I mean? Um Let's go. Cardi B speaks on Oh, well, Cardi B speaks on missing million dollar Call of Duty deal due to stupid decisions from the past. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, Man, I hope there's some more stuff going on in hip hop so I don't look crazy. I did an on the fly show and this, this is on the fly. This shit is flying for real. Hold up. Oh, you know what? That Mav Hoffer clip. Oh, my God. That Mav Hoffer clip of Yayo speaking on game and um saying game wasn't a part of g unit like not a part of g unit but he was like game is not g unit's legacy lloyd banks and i'm almost quoting him lloyd banks 50 cent tony yayo is g unit's legacy because they new york and any issues they had in new york they had to deal with in new york and he was saying when i was on the island rikers island he said i had to deal with you know the problems that G Unit had in the street. You know what I'm saying in the in the jails. So, um, I get it from one perspective. I get it. Like Yayo, Yayo been there from day one. Yayo was the first dude in G Unit. Um, he brought Banks in. You know what I mean? And Yayo played a big part in like you know. I always say Yayo and Fifty Styles always really complimented each other. So. Besides Banks, he was like the, you know, that's the core three. But let me tell you something. Young Buck and Game added so much to G-Unit that was necessary to take it from a, a, a dope. They went from the locks to NWA. You know what I'm saying? Not as far as musically. I'm talking about just on some iconic type. Like it was... I'm saying, without Game and Buck, they're just 50 in Friends. Not that Yayo and Banks ain't talented, but Young Buck is from Nashville, Tennessee. Game is from Los Angeles, Compton, California. Game was, let's be clear, Game was the biggest star in G-Unit, not named 50 Cent. And it was for good reason. Two reasons. One, um, he dropped at the perfect time. You know what I'm saying? Not only just his album dropped at the perfect time, but it was just the perfect time for the West Coast, period. Like, they needed something. You know what I mean? So, he was like the savior for the West at the time. And, and Young Buck was coming from a place where nobody never really... I thought We thought they all just did country music down there. We didn't even know it was rappers or... Just real dudes. It's like street. Like we ain't know nothing about this place. You know what I mean? He really put it on the map. But also he was in contention for King of the South. See, this is the thing. 50 is already in New York. So you got the King of the West Coast game. And you got somebody that's fighting for King of the South with T.I. You know, um, GZ, all these dudes. And Young Buck. You know what I mean? It was a time where Young Buck was considered a top south act like a top three four south act southern act in music period so to have that type of representation that's what actually formed voltron that's why i said he went from the locks to nwa because the locks is a really tight-knit group of individuals who grew up you know close to each other or at least just across town you know what i mean in styles case from chic and uh, uh kiss and they all think similarly talk similarly you know got similar things to say and in similar ways to say it buck is coming off totally different game is coming off totally different yayo is coming off totally different game is coming off to like banks 50 it's like 
so many styles that it that it, it became more like Wu Tangish than than the locks. You get what I'm saying? Not that the locks is not versatile, but so when you say game is not Gio the legacy, I just gotta disagree from from a fan perspective. Like I know from a you know perspective of um, you know somebody that went through it. You know all the all the street BS that y'all had to go through just being a G Unit member and affiliate with all the wars and the in the in the mixtape wars, the verbal wars, the you know what I mean? You live that through and through. But from a fan perspective, besides 50 Cent it was game. Period. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Besides Okay, so what's the best albums in G-Unit? Get Rich or Die Trying, the documentary. Everything else is just everything else. And I love Buck First Album. Buck First Album is probably like the third best album in G-Unit. You know what I'm saying? The Buck Next Album was fire too. But that's it. You get what I'm saying? So when you talk about legacy, what are we talking about if we're not talking about music? And if we talk about music... Game brought the most musically to G Unit besides 50 Cent. And I'm not talking about who wrote the records. I'm talking about just period. Who performed the record? Who had the look? Who had the whole coast behind them? You know what I'm saying? So I just gotta respectfully disagree with that. Um Game is a real big part of G Unit. That's why everybody been begging to see it ever since. You know what I'm saying? And that's why y'all can't replace them with Kid Kid as much as Kid Kid is like, you know, a super dope artist. So yeah, um, let's go through, man. Uh, we ain't doing no more than twenty minutes, man. Let's 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 cut through the BS. Um, Kevin Hart was on Drink Champs. That was fire. Um, let's see. J Cole hit some jump shots. I don't know why that's important. He keep leaving leagues after uh, only averaging three points. I don't get it. Um. Oh, Jim Jones. Oh, you know what? This is super relevant. I'm glad I scrolled past this. Jim Jones said that game... Peep this. Check this out. Jim Jones said that game... And I already watched this clip, so I really know what I'm talking about. He said that game is... Has always had this plan to go at G-Unit from day one. He said when he talked to him and he first signed, he was like, yeah, as soon as I go platinum over there, you know what I mean? I'm a diss 50 and, and, and had this whole thing where I, you know, exit that way. Ah, oh, man. Uh, I'm not saying that's not true. I'm just saying if it is true, 50 beat him to the punch because that wasn't. This is what I'm saying. If he did do that, I don't think he wanted to get real. And people really got shot at Hot 97. You get what I'm saying? So, I think maybe he did have that plan. And maybe he could have, like, you know, changed his mind or whatever. But I know that 50 was the one who initiated the, the kicking out of the group. So, it's really hard to, to, to say. But that's dope. I'm going to be honest with you. That's dope if that was his plan. Like, to just... I'm going to be honest with you. Game is so 50 cent. That people don't realize it. Like, 50 and Game can't get along because they're the same dude from a different place. Like, you know what I mean? They, like, really think along the same lines. That's why people keep like, oh, you're clout chasing every time Game come out with an album. You're clout chasing. You're trying to diss people then drop an album. That's the 50 Cent form. What are we talking about? That's the Tupac 50 Cent formula. What are we talking about? You know what I mean? Like, the same dude. That's why they can't get along. Uh, Ken and Ryu can't get along. Because they, come on, they, they from different places, but they can't. You know what I mean? That's why you're always fighting Ken versus Ryu. So, you know what I mean? Um, 50 would be Ryu, though, man. He a little, I don't know. I don't know who be a Ryu. I'm a Ryu fan, so whatever. Um, Yeah, but that was, that, was, that was interesting that Jones said that. It was actually interesting that he even said it. Not even that... I'm like, why would he say this right now? Like, where, like, where's this going? Um, Kanye had an interview that I didn't check out. Um, yeah, I'm, a, I'm gonna end it there, man. That's about it. Yo, listen, we gonna get our topics right. Listen, it's my birthday. I wasn't really trying to feel what I'm saying. It's my physical born day, bro. I'm not trying to go through and 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 do too much. You know what I mean? So I'm dropping this just on a good day. 
you know what I mean? So so we can get the good energy, you know what I mean, from the from the day I was birthed physically. But um this ain't too much of a show. Next week we'll do the show. We had the topics and do the show show. But if you tuned in today, I'm glad you did. This is the first episode of uh Holy's Corner as a podcast. You can catch the audio wherever you can catch audio or podcast. Go run it up for me, even if you did this. And next week we're gonna get it tight. And matter of fact, let me know if y'all want to see any guests on this joint, man. I get some guests and we we chop it up about hip hop, man. For real, I, I go live with them and, and we could do it like that. And then I bring the video to y'all, put the audio out. You know what I'm saying? It's the guy G Holy Reverend G Holy dot com. Oh, I got something dropping today, today, and my wife just dropped some a joint, and we dropping some. We are dropping something today, and I just dropped the ring. She just dropped her singles. Uh, Truth is, and um, I forgot the name of the other single, but it's two singles. Y'all seen two Ray, uh, Y A S I N T O U R E, and we dropping something today, and we gonna body y'all. She's actually recording right now while I'm recording. So it's the guy Gioli repping Gioli dot com, man. The family that raps together stays together, man. I'm out of here. Maybe the catch is, I'll never be considered the best Never even considered sitting that they mention a rest It don't bother me, as long as they know I know they know the wind blows, enjoy the breeze Fuck the way that it goes, I'm worth my weight in gold Multiplied by platinum, so you can keep the plaques My nigga, I'll keep the rapping